beautifuls. So last night we shared our, our insider secret and they're not real. Our nails that is. And you saw me change one nail on air last night and we promised you an in-depth tutorial on how we actually do our nails. More me, cause Jody does a little bit different than I do, but I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step what I do to remove the old ones and to put on the new ones. So if you want to see what we do to make this possible, then you just need to keep watching. All right, so first thing I need to do is remove the old nails. These have been on about a week, give or take a day or two, and they are starting to be in need of being fixed so much, and I don't know if you can see it, my nail is coming off here, it's coming off here. So that's a good indication that it's time to switch them out. So I am going to use my cuticle pusher and I'm going to use the flat end. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start working this under the edge of my nail and working my way over. And I'm just slowly wiggling it between my nail and the adhesive until I can get it off. All right, so I have one nail off and I'm gonna get the rest of them off. So now that I have my nails off, I need to get the sticky adhesive residue that's still on my nails off. And for that, I'm gonna use my alcohol. This is the 91% alcohol. I think this works the best to get the adhesive off. And I'm just gonna use some cotton balls. So now that the adhesive is off, and now I will look at my nails and decide if they need to be clipped. The shorter I keep my nails, the better they work under these fake nails, especially the press-on. It's also easier to remove them. So I am going to use a set of nail clippers. These are by Tweezer Man. These are my absolute favorite nail clippers. They do a good job. They give a nice clean cut. They don't leave a jagged edge. They just are, they're just really good. My nails are all clipped. I just look and see if there's any larger sections of dead skin. I moisturize my hands a lot, but because I do so much with my hands, I naturally am dry around the edges and the cuticles, and I'm sure I could soak my hands and make them look better, but girlfriend, I don't have time for that. So I just make sure that they're as nice as they possibly can be. This is where the next step comes in. It's a nail file. I've used the alcohol to get off the adhesive, but there are still like little areas that I can feel it. The best thing I do, take my nail file and just very gently work off any of that adhesive, file my nail so that there's no sharp edges, and rough up my nail bed so that the new nail sticks to it well. So I'm going to take another cotton ball and a little bit more alcohol, and I'm just gonna wipe off my nails to make sure that there's no residue, there's no powder, there's no oil from my fingers. The cleaner the nail, the better the adhesive is going to stick. So now we're getting into the fun part. We are going to be doing our nails. These are free up your mind. These are the impress ones. They come with the adhesive already on it, so you don't have to do anything. As you can see, this is how it comes. You have two different types of accent nails and a color. These are like a pearlized purple. In the back, you have a cuticle pusher. You have a alcohol pad, a prep pad, and it comes with a nail file. These are great. And then further inside, they give you instructions on how to do your nails. I do peel this little guy off and I'm going to use him 
and I will use the alcohol prep pad. But before I get into that, let's get into our nails. This is two sections. The top clear part comes off and you have your nails. These are the decorative ones that they put on the front so you can see them, but then you have all these other sizes here. So I tend to dump them all out, flip them over. It's like a puzzle. That's how I look at it. But then again, I'm a geek. And I own that and I'm happy about that. So it's looking and see which ones come in what sizes and colors. If it's all one color, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna size them to your nail. I need to figure out which colors I'm gonna do on which fingers and all of that jazz. So I'm gonna start with my thumbs. I know my thumbs are gonna be the larger ones. So you have, I don't know if you can see it, there is a little adhesive tab right here. So that's the underside. It's a little tab. This is what you'll eventually use to peel off for the adhesive. For right now, you're gonna leave it on, and when you size it to your nail, you want the adhesive tab to be by your cuticle. So it's going to be like this. And I just hold it up, flush with my cuticle, and I look, I make sure that my sides are good, and the front is good, everything like that. I have my thumb for this hand, and now I need to get my thumb for this hand. And do not be dismayed if you use different size nails for the same like finger on each side. And next up is going to be my ring fingers. It's gonna be finding a nail to fit those guys. A little bit. So as you can see, I put it on and I kind of hold it and rotate my hand and then hold it and rotate my hand. All right, I have my nails chosen. As you can see, I am not doing any of the glitter nails. I will save them. What's great about these is you can mix and match. Meaning, if you want to do a glitter nail with these black ones, they would be stunning. So now the fun part. Now we are going to put our nails on. So I'm going to open my prep pad. I'm gonna tear it right down the center pull this guy out basically it's an alcohol pad but the cleaner I can have my nails the better it is so I, one more time I'm gonna wipe down my nails making sure that there's no oil there's no residue nothing I'm gonna let them dry for a minute and I'm going to start off with my non-dominant hand to apply them to my dominant one. It's just easier. So I'm gonna start with my pinky nail. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the adhesive. I'm going to line it up with my cuticle, kind of pressing it under just a little bit. I make sure it's straight and then I press really hard. I rock back and forth, kind of pull down just a little bit like this because the adhesive likes to glue my skin to my nail. But I'm gonna press down really, really hard, making sure I press down by the cuticle, by the tip, all over. And then once that nail's on, I'm actually gonna take it push it down on the table and rock it back and forth. With this, the stronger you press, the more secure the adhesive will be. And then I move on to my next nail. I am not gonna do my thumb yet. I'm, oop, I'm gonna come back and do those at the end. So this hand's done, I'm gonna move on to this hand. They recommend doing your thumbs last, and I have to agree with them. It really is easier if you wait and do your thumbs last. So now that my nails are on, I'm going to take the nail file that came with it, and I am just going to clean up any of the rough edges. And if you have a nail that's too long, like this one for me is a little too long, I'm just gonna shape them up a little bit and take a little bit of that length off. And there you have it, our finished nails. They look so good. I absolutely love this color. I love these nails. They, they give you that polished look that 
You can get it at a salon, but I did it at home for a fraction of the cost. So there you have it, our insider secret on what we use that is not real. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.